One really cool feature that exists in modern day OBS is the ability to have a different track for what goes live and another one that goes to your VODs on Twitch. And you're wondering why would I use that? Well, if you don't want your commentary over the top of it, if you don't want that background music that you had going during the stream to exist on your VOD and you just want it to be gameplay and your voiceover, I'm gonna show you how to set that up in just a few steps, really simple to make your life a lot easier and not worry about what's on those fonts. So the first step is to click on your settings and go to the output tab. At the top, you're gonna to be on the first tab for streaming. And here's where it's gonna be really simple to set up, but there are a few nuances to make sure that you do. Audio track, I set this to something different. You want it to be completely different to the Twitch VOD track. You'll just check that and now you'll have access to two. So for instance, I set my audio track to four, which is what's going to go to stream. And then I set my Twitch VOD track to one, which is what's going to go and exist as a VOD after the stream. So once you're done with that, you just pick which one, remember which one's going to stream, which one's going to the VOD. We'll hit okay and we'll go back to the main screen. We'll click on the three dots of any of your audio sources and we're going to click on advanced audio properties. Now this is where things are gonna get really simple, but don't go away just yet. So one thing that I wanna do, remember number four is what goes to my stream. So I'm gonna make sure that four is here. All of them are gonna be checked, it doesn't matter. Four is what goes to my stream. Now, if I wanted to make sure that this is background audio, this is what's going to go to number one. So if this is music, I'm going to uncheck number one, which is the one that I set up that goes to the VODs. So now it will go to every other track that's going out there, but it will not go to the track that goes to the VOD. My microphone will exist on all of them. And this way I can set it up completely different. All right, before you click away, there's also ways to make sure and separate that audio. So you can have your microphone, your Discord audio coming in, your game audio coming in, your music, and they all exist on different ones. Right now, this would be existing on basically your desktop audio and your microphone audio, and that's it. But if you wanna separate those and make sure that that's a really clean stream, check out the video I made on how to separate those audios so that you can make this work perfectly.